Hey, are you looking to upgrade your key life areas and evolve to a higher level of existence? To practically harness personal growth and spirituality in a crazy, busy, imperfect world? Then you've come to the right place. My name is Prash and this is Urban Spirituality, the show which uniquely fuses ancient wisdom with contemporary self-growth and spiritual disciplines to deliver value-added tools, traits, and insights to help you unleash your fullest potential. We always keep it real, featuring authentic, unfiltered dialogue with guests from diverse backgrounds to inspire, entertain, and enlighten all who listen. So get ready for your dose of urban spirituality. Be present and let's dive in. Second chance tonight. I'd swear I'd do the things I knew, I knew were right. Hey, what would you do if you had a second chance? You know, that's what I want to share with you. What would it be like to have a second chance? When I was in my younger years, uh, one of my spiritual mentors gave me his car to service. Uh, He had to go on a long trip here in the UK. And he gave me his car to service and asked me to take care of it. If he would, he was really busy with engagements. And so I failed to take care of the car and I gave it to him and he drove. And there was no excuses. I just didn't do what he had asked me to do. I hadn't serviced the car properly. I hadn't gotten it serviced and he had, he nearly had a crash. Uh, It was was a near miss and it was all my fault. I had almost killed one of my spiritual mentors because of my neglect in servicing the car that he had entrusted to me. After that incident, when we came back together, I was petrified. I thought that he would be really angry. He would be venting because so his family, uh, his community, the people who cared for him, all of those would lose this wonderful person. And I thought, what have I done? I felt terrible dread. And he came to me, he put this, his hand on my shoulder like this. And he says, I know you made a mistake. I know. It wasn't deliberate. I know you care for me. And just to show you, I trust you. And just to show you, I have faith in you. Here are the keys again. And I trust you that you will get this car sorted. And it will be fine. He gave me a second chance. He gave me a second chance. And so the realization I want to share with you is, how does that apply in your life? If you had a second chance, what would you do with it? Or if you could give somebody a second chance, somebody who needs that second chance, somebody who deserves it, maybe somebody who doesn't deserve it, but you still give it, to show your faith in yourself and humanity, what could that look like? Because everybody deserves a second chance, don't they? Everybody. Sometimes we feel so victimized by some trauma, some perpetrator, some victim that we've become because somebody has done something so bad, so unspeakable, we feel they don't deserve a second chance. And maybe there are cases where you feel that way. But what about situations where you've written somebody off or situations where somebody's hurt you, but when you step back, you can see that they were acting carelessly or foolishly and that maybe they deserve a second chance maybe they need that second chance to exonerate themselves to seek retribution to find it and when we take away that second chance from somebody we rob their opportunity for retribution for salvation for rectification and don't we all deserve that at least that's my feeling and there are obviously going to be exceptions. What about in our own lives? If we had a second chance, what would we do with it? Maybe there is a second chance, but we haven't recognized it yet. Maybe it's in our personal lives with the relationships 
of people around us, with our loved ones, a family member or a friend. And we feel that we need a second chance, that we were misunderstood or misrepresented. Maybe we were careless or foolish, foolhardy. Maybe we let our emotions get the better of us and maybe we deserve that second chance. How would you go about taking that second chance? You see, sometimes we wait for the other to give us that second chance. And it doesn't come all the time, does it? So sometimes maybe it's better for us to take that second chance, create it ourselves, approach that person that we hurt and extend an apology, seek their forgiveness. They may not choose to give it, but it is the act of seeking forgiveness, I feel, that is the most important thing. Even if we don't receive forgiveness back, even if we don't get a second chance back from them, to seek forgiveness, to find a way to take a second chance at rectifying, that is the real power. That's within us. And maybe we can't take that second chance with that person, that place, that situation, that circumstance, because it's in the past now. But maybe we could take that second chance and transplant it to something else in our current life or in our upcoming life in our future, somewhere where we can make amends, somewhere where we can do better, be better, feel better, and act better for something else, for someone else in our future. So folks, think about where this could work for you. How can you be that for somebody? Be that second chance, offer that second chance. And if this speaks to you, if this finds a chord inside you, this aligns with something inside you. Why wait? Why not reach out to that person or that organization or that thing and seek to do better and to be better? Because in doing so, we elevate ourselves, we free ourselves from guilt, we allow ourselves to be forgiven, we forgive ourselves. We're able to seek that retribution that allows us to grow and to be more and to do more. That's the sharing for today. I hope that finds you in good health. And as always, check out the podcast and the YouTube channel, Urban Spirituality, on iTunes, Spotify, etc., where I'm kind of sharing more ramblings and philosophical insights that I get along my own life journey in the hope that they might serve help empower and enlighten some of you in your own journey in some small way that's it from me hey folks thanks so much for listening i really hope you enjoyed this episode and as with all our episodes found something to inform inspire and empower you in your personal and spiritual journeys in life as always feel free to leave a little love through your ratings and comments subscribe and share it with those you care about And take your personal and spiritual evolution to the next level by joining us on one of our unique events, workshops, or retreats, or taking advantage of our personal and professional coaching packages. Find out more about us at mantratherapy.co.uk. I'm your host, Prash K. This is Urban Spirituality, and we will catch you on the next episode.